Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to start filling in your brows. First thing you want to do is you want to highlight your brows. Um, you're going to use a 212, which looks like this. It's a flat, straight brush. It's by MAC 212. And I'm just going to use a very light color concealer. I'm using Studio Finish Concealer in NC15. You can use NC20. Um, usually you want to stay in the C's. You want it a little yellow depending on your skin tone. Um, I'm more of an olive skin tone, so I'm just going to use a more cooler tone. So I have my concealer. And I'm just going to take just a little with this brush here. Like that. And I'm just going to start drawing underneath my brows like a straight line from here. And you can also do the top, but I usually don't do too much on top, very lightly. Just kind of outline the shape. You can even do a little hair in the front. So now you basically have I like a highlight all around your brow. And this is where you don't want to fill in. So it kind of prevents you from going below the line of your brows. Because when you fill it in, you want to fill inside your brows, not outside, unless you have thin brows and you want to make them thicker. So now I'm going to grab my 266, my angled brush. Um, and I'm actually going to show you a couple of techniques of how you can fill your brows. So the first technique, I'm going to be using an eyeshadow. And the eyeshadow I'm going to be using is called Mystery. It's by MAC. It's this color here. And that's because I like my brows a little darker. If you like your brows a little lighter, or if you have blonde hair, um, you can use cork. Cork re uh, works really well. I'm just going to take a little on my brush. When I take it, I don't take it on the side of my brush. I actually t dip in straight like this. If you want it darker, you can actually wet your brush just a little. You can spray it with some Fix Plus. And I'm going to start by filling it in from the bottom here. I like to go a little lower from here. It gives the brow like a higher arc. This is the most natural way. If you want your brows to look very, very soft and natural, a shadow using an eyeshadow is the way to get it most natural. So now I did like a line going down on the bottom. And now I'm going to do it from the top here. If you wet your brush, it'll give you more of a darker color and won't look as natural. So now I'm just, since I've, I've done a line going on the bottom here, and I've done the same thing, almost like an outline on the top, now I'm going to fill in the brow. And um, if you saw in the beginning, I told you my brows stop a little short. So I like to add a little there, and since it's lighter because I have not much hair there, I usually like to wet my brush to do this, just to get a little darker to look similar to the rest of it. So I just wet my brush a little bit, a little water. See, so it's a little darker. Now I can go back and take that 212 again and blend that highlight down. Sometimes I even like to use my finger because um, your finger warms up the product and melts it better. 
kind of makes it blend in with your skin a little more. Also the front here. And then the front, to get it to look very natural, what you want to do is take your finger and smudge it. So you don't have like that square, it looks so drawn on. Just fade it out a little, just at the tip of the front of your... I like to set my brows and the way I do that something I like to use is hairspray so I'm just gonna take the mascara wand and I'm just gonna spray it with some hairspray I'm just gonna brush through it okay and that's it looks so keep watching I'm gonna show a different technique now okay this time I'm gonna use a pencil but the different the only different thing is that I'm not gonna use the pencil directly on my brows because that gives you a very harsh um, brow what I'm using it's by Lancome um, it's called black coffee and this is it and the way I do this is I don't draw my brow with this. I actually use my angle brush and I swipe it like that. This way I get kind of like a waxy color on my brush instead of uh, versus like powder or some that come as a powder and a wax and you have to dip them together. This I just take it directly like that and I get the color and the wax in one. Um, but before I do that, let me highlight my brows. And this time I'm not going to highlight with a concealer. I'm going to highlight with another product that I actually like this one also. They both work great. Whatever works for you, um, you can try them both and see which one you like better. This is called Highbrow. It's by Benefit. I don't know which way. Okay. So this is Highbrow. It's, instead of being like a beigey color, it's more of a pinky color. So with this one, you just draw... I think Anastasia also has something like this. I mean, I wouldn't do too much on the top with this one. And just the one right there. Okay. So now I'm going to take that pencil, swipe some on my brush, and fill in my brows. Again, I'm drawing from the bottom. I mean, fill in the top part. And then with what I have left in the brush, just filling in the middle of this. Back in with my flat brush. And I'm going to blend that in. And again, you can hairspray them to set them. Another thing you can use to set your brows, which really also works really well. I mean, hairspray is a cheaper way to do it, but um, Benefit has something called shellac. And it's like this liquid that, I'm going to post a picture up of it. It's like a liquid that sets your um, brows, your eyeliner, anything that you want to make um, waterproof, you can just put that liquid on it. And I used to use that, I just ran out. And I'm just going to fade it out here in the front just a little look more natural. Remember, your fingers brush it. Okay, and that's the second second technique using a pencil. All right, keep watching for the third way. The next one I'm going to do is I'm um, going to be a waterproof way. <laughs>